Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this medieval school in Minecraft complete with four separate classrooms as well as a small detention room. If you're building this in survival, you're going to want to check out the description down below for a full materials list of all of the items that we're going to be using today. And of course, if you want to switch out some blocks with other ones that are more well suited to a town or village that you're building, please feel free to do that. This build is roughly 21 by 11 blocks. You can see the layout of the ground level here. It does begin to jut outwards the further up we build, so do give yourself a bit of wiggle room. But what we want to do to begin with here is on top of all of the orange blocks is place in a dark oak log. And once we've got all of that done for all of those, we're going to extend those logs up by three more for a total of four blocks. So you should end up with a bunch of four block high pillars. The bottom part of this build is going to be made out of a mixture of stone blocks. I'm going to be using stone bricks, andesite, regular stone, as well as cracked stone bricks. Now for the simplicity of the tutorial here, I'm just going to be using stone bricks only and adding in the other three blocks afterwards. So whether you want to do that or mix it in as we go, it's entirely up to you. But the first thing we're going to do here is come to the front entrance way of the school where we have this little bit that dips inwards. And on these two corners, we're going to place two full blocks at the bottom, two at the top, and then two stone brick walls in between both of those. And we can do the same thing over here. So four full blocks and four brick walls, just like that. Then in the center bit here, where the actual doorway is going to be going, we're going to have four full blocks either side of the log, then another one at the bottom, upside down stair at the top. Then we can have a regular stair here, kind of jutting outwards a little bit, with two upside down stairs facing outwards either side where we can then have a stone brick wall on top of that. And super quickly, we can just step inside and make another little bit of a stairway leading to this from the interior. And all we're doing is placing three stairs down like that. So these two sides are totally identical. So we're just going to do one and copy it over after. So I'm just going to come to the right hand side here. I'm going to start off by having four full blocks either side of these logs with three across the top and then three more down the middle. And we're going to have two stairs either side at the bottom. Now moving around to the side here, we're going to do the same thing we did over here on this one wide gap with two full blocks and two walls and we can also do that over here as well. In the center section we're going to have five blocks across the bottom, three on either side just like that. Then at the top row here we're going to go stair, full block and stair and we're going to leave that gap for a window. That's what all of the gaps are by the way. Around the back here we want to do exactly the same as what we did for the front so we're just going to make this ring going all the way around basically have that line in the middle and then two stairs at the bottom and last but not least for this three wide section we're just going to have a stair at the bottom four full blocks either side and one full block at the top and then we're back in the middle in line with the doorway so everything we've just done there can be copied round for the other side too. At this point, all of the stone blocks have been placed down, so you can now go around and mix in some texture with the other three blocks, stone and site and cracked stone bricks. Of course, not forgetting to change out some of the stairs and walls too. With all of that texture added in, we can now go around and place in the windows and the doorways and all those other bits and pieces. So first of all, our spruce doorway going on the back of this block just like that. And we're also going to add two spruce fences on top of the walls. They will eventually connect to something, don't worry. As for these sides here, we're going to add in some white stained glass panes for our windows and then two trap doors on the outside of them for some shutters. And we can also do that three more times for this side as well as the two round the back here. So just on the opposite side to the front here and over here, just like that. As for the middle two at the back here, all we're going to do is place in some more glass panes for our windows. And then we want to grab some spruce fence gates and we're going to face inside into the center of the building here. And we're just going to place two fence gates like that on both of the sides like so. And we're going to open them up when we're actually facing into the middle that is. So make sure they're facing this way, not that way. Once you've got that done, we can then place some spruce trap doors on the front of them. And this is just a little bit of a different shutter design. So they kind of look like they're half open, if that makes sense. 
For the two sides here, all we're going to do is place in six white stained glass panes for our windows, three coaster out the front, and we're going to surround that with some trap doors for a little bit of a flower bed, which of course we can go ahead and place some flowers on top of. And super quickly, we can do the same over on this side here. The only difference being, you just change up what flowers you want placed down. Try not to double up though, if possible. And of course, cover up with spruce trap doors. We are almost done for this bottom level here. There's just a few more things to do. The next one being add in these oak trap doors on the bottom log all the way around for every single log that is actually visible. So basically it's just one on the flat sides and then on the corners we just want to have two of them like so. Just make sure you get all of these placed down and you don't miss a log as you're doing all of this. Of course for the corners you can place it down so don't worry about them. Now we're just going to build the lip to the second level. So what we're going to do is come to the front side here to begin with and on these two logs we're going to place in a spruce stair. Then we're going to go spruce trap door, slab, spruce trap door, slab, spruce trap door and we can do the same over here too. So two stairs, two slabs and then three trap doors. As for around the back, we want to do the exact same thing, just a whole lot longer. So start off with the two stairs either side and then go trap door and just skip a block. So you leave space for the slabs that we can come back along and place those in too. So exactly the same as we did for the front, just a lot longer. As for the sides here where we have the flower beds, we're going to start off with the stairs once again on the corner block, but this time we're going to go spruce trap door, two slabs, then a spruce trap door with a slab in the middle, trap door, two slabs, and another trap door, just like that, which of course can be copied around to the other side as well. The first thing we can do for the next level up is place four dark oak logs on top of all of the spruce stairs that we have placed down for that lip going around. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and done that already. So we have the four corners and two here at the front. We do have a couple more to place down that aren't by the stairs. The first ones being one block back from these logs. So actually on top of these stone blocks, we want to make those four blocks high as well, just like that. And then the other two that we have around the back here in line with this log and this log. So on top of these slabs right here, they should be in line with the ones we've literally just placed down. So just make sure all of these are in fact four blocks high. Now we're going to get started on the roof, beginning with the outline made out of these dark oak blocks. So the first thing we're going to do is just come to one of these five wide sections, either the two at the front or the two at the back. It doesn't matter. They're all exactly the same. And we're just going to have two upside down stairs on those top block of the logs, then one off the back in a regular stair. On top of the upside down stair, we're going to have two full blocks, then two stairs on top of those with an upside down one off the back. Then we're going to have just a single full block this time with two more stairs and then two more upside down ones. And for this one, we want no full blocks. We just want to go straight to the stair and do that on both of the sides with an upside down one in the middle facing forwards. Then we can have a stair facing backwards, upside down stair, apologies for the invisibility, <laughs> and then a regular stair facing backwards once again on top of that one. Then we'll have a dark oak fence on the back of this stair with a chain and a lantern. And you can then go ahead and copy this round to the other side as well as the two round the back of the build as well. Just in case it wasn't clear what we were doing round the back, it's exactly the same and perfectly in line with the others. It should be fairly well indicated by the logs, but I thought I'd show you anyway. So now we're going to connect them at the top here. So what we want to do is, first of all, if you're in survival, pillar up here because it's going to be a lot easier that way. But then we're just going to come to these stairs here facing into them and we're going to place in one, two, three, four, five, six more dark oak stairs on both of the sides. And it should leave one block in the middle where we can have a dark oak plank. Super quickly, we can do the same around here too. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a full plank in the center. Then we just want to go ahead and from either of these planks, bridge across one, two, three, four, five, six blocks again with a dark oak slab on the bottom half of the block in the center. You know this is in the correct position if it's in line with the door at the bottom there, right in the center of the build. Now, you may want to actually keep that stone platform going all the way across if you're in survival. It'll make it a little bit easier. But from this dark oak slab, we're just going to place in six stairs coming all the way across 
to that plank over there on the other side. We're just doing it this way because I think having the stairs match up nicely around the plank in the center here looks a little bit better than doing something like that. So that's why we're placing it from the slab and not the other way around. Once you've got that done, we can then come down to the back of the build here where we have these two stairs and we're just going to place a line of five stairs to connect them like that. Then underneath this stair, we're going to place in a dark oak trap door and just place one by skipping a block every other one. So you have four of them placed down like that. And yes, my trap doors look a little bit different to the regular look. The vanilla version is totally fine. They look basically the same. Then around the front here, what we're going to do is next to these stairs is go back one, two and three on both of the sides. So we get to this log right here and then we're going to face into the build here and just place five across the middle here to curve them round like that. Then we're going to do the same thing with the trap doors. So starting on the outer block here, just go around and skip every other block. And then in the center block, instead of leaving it blank this time, we're actually going to have a dark oak slab just like that. As for the two shorter sides here with the flower beds, we're going to start off by having a full plank next to this stair on both of these spots right here with a stair facing outwards like that. So if you just look towards the other side and place that down, then we're going to have a dark oak slab underneath that full block. Once again, this is on both of the sides. And then next to that slab, we're going to have two dark oak trap doors and also one more on top of the plank. So one there, two at the bottom. Then we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair on the back of this one and one, two, three and four slabs on both of those sides. So we should just have one gap in the middle for an upside down dark oak stair. And of course, around that side, go ahead and do the exact same thing. Now we're ready to fill in the roof with our spruce blocks. So the first thing we're going to do is come round to the back of the build and we're going to fill in this section. So we're going to start off by having two full planks on top of those logs with one coming off of the top block just like that. Then from this bottom plank we're going to have a line of stairs going all the way across and then we're going to go and place a slab on the bottom half of that block and just bring these all the way across to the other side too. And then on the back of these four blocks, we want to place in a spruce stair upside down and just bring them all the way across like so. It looks like a regular block from the outside, but it's going to make the inside look a little bit better. Just try and trust the process. So from this dark oak stair, we're going to have four spruce stairs going all the way across. So just hanging over by a little bit. And then we're going to connect them in the middle just like that. And we pretty much just want to repeat that pattern as we go up. So where we have the dark oak planks, we're going to place in some spruce planks. Pretty self-explanatory. You can probably do the rest without me telling you, but I'll show you anyway. So of course, on top of the planks, we're going to have some stairs because there is a dark oak stair here. And then last but not least on this top line we just want to bring these stairs all the way around just make sure you don't get anything like that and you misplace them you want them all to be facing forward nice and smooth getting a good clean look and then when you're all done the back section should look like this as for the two sides over here, we're going to start off by placing two spruce stairs on top of these logs here. So on the outer one and you want them to be pointing outwards and then we're going to face into the build and just connect them up like so. So the corner stairs should be curving around just a little bit like that as opposed to this. So just make sure you face them into the other stairs. Then we're going to go ahead and place two spruce planks next to these dark oak planks and then have a full line of planks going all the way across. And then it's exactly the same as what we did for the other side, pretty self-explanatory, where we have a dark oak stair, you want a bunch of spruce stairs. When we have a dark oak plank, you want a bunch of spruce planks all the way up to the top. In the end, it should look like this. And of course, you can go ahead and do that around the other side too. As for around the front here, we're going to be doing something a little bit different because there's actually a middle section part of this roof, kind of like an addition to it, if you could call it that. So we're going to start off with some spruce planks next to these two dark oak planks, and we're just going to bring them out by four blocks. So there should be eight in total on both of the sides like that. And then we're also going to add four more stairs on top. And we also want to add two more planks here and here and another stair like that. So this is what we should have at the moment. 
next to these blocks here we're just going to place a temporary block down here next to the dark oak stairs with a dark oak log on top of them get rid of the temporary block and we're going to make these four blocks high so just add another three on top of them and this is kind of like another smaller roof that we're building here so we're going to have some upside down stairs facing into each other on top or in front of those logs I should say and then a regular stair off the back and then we're basically just going to staircase our way all the way up to the top so they eventually meet in the middle where we can have an upside down stair like that and then on top of this stair we'll have a regular one then an upside down one and just stand on this slab here and go from one two three to connect it up nicely like that at this point it might get a little bit tricky so just follow along closely but we're basically trying to match up these stairs with these stairs with some spruce stairs in the middle. So we're actually going to start on the top row here and we're just going to follow this line right next to the blocks we have at the top here with our spruce stairs. So just bring them all the way around like that connecting up over here. Then we can do the same again because it's another stair. We haven't quite got to the full blocks just yet. So that is five stairs on this side and then one two and three more and then just one more connecting to that stair. Now's where things get a little bit tricky. <laughs> so what we want to do is next to these planks, we're just going to add in one, two, three, four, and five, and then two more. So from the outside, it should look like this. All we have left to do now is next to this stair and this log, we're just going to place in another spruce stair like that. And of course, as you may have guessed, go ahead and copy it around to the other side too. With the roof now complete, we're just going to quickly make up this window before getting started on this level down here. So what we're going to do for this gap is begin with a temporary block right in the middle here. And then we're just going to add one, two, three, four, and five strip dark oak logs on top of it. So right in the center, we'll just have that line. Then what we want to do is grab some barrels and it's actually probably best to stand down here and next to this dark oak log, the stripped one is just placing two upside down barrels so we get this texture on show as opposed to this one. So then what we want to do is place in two spruce fences for our windows up here instead of glass. And then what we're going to do is looking down onto the fence is place another barrel, then another one on top of it. So you may have to like pillar up here and do some standing, but just get yourself positioned one on top of the fence, one on top of the barrel. And you should be able to see that underside texture once again, instead of this one. And from the outside, it looks like this. The first thing we're going to work on for this level here is right at the entrance way, just above the doorway, we're going to have three strip dark oak logs. Then either side of it, we're going to make this ring square donut shape, if you will, with a hole in the middle for our gray stained glass pane for our window, as opposed to white, which we had down the bottom. So same on both of the sides. Then we're going to grab some more white terracotta and just have three here in between both of the logs. Then we can get some coarse dirt and we're just going to stick that in front of the windows here and turn it into flower beds. So we do need to cover these up of course. Starting off with some stairs, so we're just going to have two of them on either side. To place them next to the wall here though, I'd recommend just going underneath the blocks, that's probably the easiest way to do it. So just like that. Then we'll have a slab in the middle, then going down by half a block. So in line with the top part of that stair, just going all the way across like that. Of course, cover the front up with the core stair with a spruce trap door. And we also want to cover the bottom too, because we don't want to see this. We want to hide it away with that trap door. Now we come around to the back of the build here for this middle section. And the first thing we're going to do is place a white terracotta block on top of that log with one either side. And we're just going to turn that into a ring shape. Same as what we did over there, of course, with our glass pane in the center. Then we're going to skip one block either side and just place in three white terracotta like that. And on these two gaps on the block in front, so this slab, we're going to have some strip dark oak logs like that. Then on the two sides, we're going to start off with a spruce slab at the top. So just in line with this trap door and then a stair at the bottom like so with a spruce fence gate in the middle there for no real reason. It's just a bit of added detail. In the center here, we're going to start with a coarse dirt, which of course is being another flower bed. So stick a flower on top and then we're just going to grab a spruce trap door and cover the front of it like that. 
Then we'll have two stairs either side like so, with a spruce fence on top of them. Then two more upside down spruce stairs with a slab in the top. And there we go, that's that section all done. So all we have left to do are the two side parts here, but they are completely the same. So I'm just going to do one and copy it over after. Of course, if you want to do it as we're building it, please feel free to do that. But we're going to start off on one of the sides here at the front. And we're going to begin by placing in two upwards facing barrels on top of the slabs. On top of the trap doors, we want to step inside and place them sideways. So we get the back texture on show like that. Then we're going to grab some strip dark oak logs and we're going to place eight of them on top of the upwards facing barrels. Of course, just make sure you're crouching when you place them on the barrel itself. On the two sides here, so either side of the logs, we're just going to place in six white terracotta just to fill in that section. And as for the middle here, we're going to have one white terracotta at the bottom, two at the top with an upside down stair under the two and one stair above the top one. Then we're going to grab some light grey stained glass panes this time and just stick three in the middle. Then in line with this glass pane, we're going to have two strip dark oak logs kind of jutting outwards a little bit with a spruce button in the center and a stair above and two stairs below just like that. And just to finish off here, we're going to connect a spruce fence gate to the roof outline like that. As I'm sure you've caught on by now, there's quite a lot of symmetry involved in this build. So the front of this part is also identical to the back here. So just go ahead and get that duplicated on over. I'm going to show you how to build the side though, because of course that one is different. So on top of this center slab, we're just going to have three strip dark oak logs. And on top of these stone blocks, as well as this log, we're just going to have four white terracotta. And we're going to make one of those donut shapes again. This time it's just sized up a little. So they're all four blocks long on all of the sides. So there should be four blocks in the middle for some gray stained glass panes, just like that. Then what we can do is grab some spruce slabs and on the bottom part of these white terracotta blocks, we're just going to place four of those in like that. Underneath the two side slabs, we're going to have two spruce fences like so. And then in the middle, we're going to have some coarse dirt, which of course we'll put some more flowers on top of. But in the meantime, we're just going to have two upside down stairs either side of both of those. And we're going to cover the front up with some spruce trap doors. All we're really missing is to place some flowers on top, of course. Now you can go ahead and copy that over to the other side if you haven't already. And once you've got that done, the exterior of the medieval school is all done. We're ready to head on inside and begin working work on the interior. First things first, we're going to start by placing a dark oak log one block away from these two logs here, and we're going to make them four blocks high. So just like that on this side, it's the same over here, but we'll just copy around after. So now what we can do is break the block in front of these one wide gaps. And we're actually just going to hop down here and face up to the right corner of this right on top and we're just going to place in an upside down barrel so we get that bottom texture on show again making use of that and then what we want to do is just grab some spruce fences and we're just going to place two of them above the barrel like so with a full spruce plank on the top of those fences then we're going to grab some dark oak planks and just have a line of three going across the top two upside down stairs in the corners dark oak trap door in the middle and then two on the side here just to make this nice archway leading through where on the middle part of this so on this block right here not the one here one back block we're going to place in our spruce door then we're just going to hop back here and we're going to place in three spruce trap doors one at the top and just kind of fold them all closed like that so from the outside it looks like this and all we need to do now is just grab this hidden lantern that I had prepared for later, <laughs> which is right now. And we're just going to place two spruce fences in front of those logs and stick a lantern on top. Once you've got this done, you can copy it around to this side too. So completely identical, leaving you with this room in the center and one either side, which will eventually become two of the four classrooms. But we do need to build our staircase leading up to the second floor. So we're going to start with a spruce stair in the middle here. And then we're basically just going to do one, two, and then three spruce stairs either side. So one next to the stone, 
one next to the glass and then one next to the stone again and underneath all of those we just want to add in some upside down stairs just to make it look a little bit neater just like that so once you got that done you can now access the second level which doesn't currently exist because there's no floor which is what we're going to build now it just so happens to be the ceiling to the first floor as well so we're going to enter one of the classrooms here and we're going to start by adding a line of slabs going all the way across and then basically all we want to do is add a line of trap doors and then a line of spruce until you eventually get to the other side you should end up with something like this which of course can be done in the other room over here too we're also going to do it in the central room it's just slightly different because we have the staircase here so starting off with some slabs once again we're going to do one of those on either side of course making sure you don't go over to this section here otherwise it's going to block the staircase but then we'll have some spruce trap doors and then we'll have some slabs once again and then finally we'll just have another row of trap doors in the middle here as I said, making sure you don't go over any further and actually touching the wall here, otherwise you won't be able to use the staircase. Before we get the floor in place down here, we just want to add a little bit of a carpet slash rug in the center here just to break up the open space a little bit. So we're going to start with some light gray carpet, three wide, two blocks away from this central stair like that and surround it with gray carpet there just so we don't have this big open gap in the middle. So now what we need to do for the floor is first things first get rid of all of the grass. Of course you can get rid of the grass in the other rooms too but I'll just show you how to do it for this one. First of all your door is going to pop off that's fine you can place it down after but all we're doing for the floor design for this building here and if you've seen any of my other tutorials you probably know what's coming I do this quite a lot it's this checkerboard pattern with the stripped logs here so all you really want to do is just as I did there place down three all facing forward and then we'll have two on the side then you want to have two placing forward three on the side and pretty much the general rule for this is only ever place a block on the side of the log never place it on the front and if you do that for throughout the whole bottom level here you should end up with a pretty cool floor design that looks like this so it's pretty self-explanatory for the two rooms here because it's just a rectangle shape the middle one here is slightly different but as i said if you just follow the rule of only ever placing it on the side of the block you will be absolutely fine so just go around only ever clicking on that side texture there if you got something like this just don't click here click there instead <laughs> you'll know you're all good because you won't get any connected textures so if you see something like that you know you've done something wrong but just go ahead and do this checkable pattern throughout the entire down level and eventually you'll end up with a super awesome looking floor like this we're not quite finished with the downstairs area yet. We still have to furnish the classrooms, but we'll save that to the end. For right now, let's go upstairs and make this level look a little bit nicer because it is a bit of a mess at the moment. So the first thing that we're going to do here is starting on one of the sides here with the big windows. We're just going to place in one, two, three and four dark oak strip logs on either side and then four more here in the middle and then a horizontal row going all the way across the top here. Of course, you can copy that round to this side as well. So four, the horizontal row, and then, oh, make sure you don't do anything like that. <laughs> make sure they're all facing the same way. Four more here and four more here. So that's the two sides done over there, looking a little bit neater. We can also do the similar thing over here too with this bit section. So we're going to start by placing in one, two, three, and four of the strip dark oak logs on top of these ones. So just next to the white terracotta. We can also extend the white terracotta up by one block. And then in the middle of those spots, we can just add some more strip dark oak logs. For this side right here, we just want to extend this log all the way up to connect it to that one there. Extend these white terracotta blocks up by some. And then we're going to have some more strip dark oak logs next to the white terracotta. But we still have this ugliness here and we don't really have any of these on show. So we need to cover them up as well. So all we're going to do is white terracotta, strip dark oak log, white terracotta. And just bring them up to the same height as all of the others. That looks a little bit weird at the moment. But don't worry, we will fix that very shortly once we do the ceiling. But for right now, that is the majority of the walls all done, I believe. 
My mistake, this one over here by the staircase does actually need to be extended up by yet another block, taking it up to just underneath those stairs. But now we're ready to get started on the ceiling. So the first thing we're gonna do is just grab some spruce trap doors and we're gonna stick one here, just above that log on both of the sides. And then we're gonna have a bunch of them just in front of all of these stairs here. Then we can grab some more spruce stairs and underneath all of these planks, we're pretty much just gonna place in a bunch of upside down ones, all curving round, connecting up very nicely so it's a little bit smoother and more pleasant to look at. So just something like that. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing for the next level up, just underneath these planks, going all the way around until we eventually connect to the other side over here. Now for this section, we're gonna begin by placing in some spruce planks. We're gonna place three of them here, another three, and then another three. And we can also do the same over here. So just nine spruce planks on either side. Then we can go ahead and place another spruce plank here and here. Then grab some spruce stairs and we're gonna place in one, two, three. Same on both sides, but in front of the log here, we just wanna place it so it curves round a little bit. So just look into the other stairs when you're placing them down like that. Then what we wanna do is just start over here next to this wall with some more upside down stairs and we just wanna place these curving all the way around just like we did for that side over there. Same on the opposite side here. Basically, we're just trying to make this ceiling look nice and smooth and not ugly and rigid like it was before. To make it look even smoother, we can add in some spruce trap doors. So what we're gonna do here for this section is just add a rim of trap doors in front of these planks, only underneath all of the stairs. We're actually gonna leave this section. So you just wanna do that at the front here on both of the sides like that. And we're also just gonna cover up these six blocks here with some more trap doors, just because in my opinion, I think it makes it look a little bit neater. It is a lot of trapdoors, it's a lot of wood to chop down. If you wanna skip that part, please feel free. But we're gonna do super quickly another similar thing over here too, because I forgot about that. So underneath all of these stairs, just as you can see here, adding in all of those trap doors, folding them downwards, just to make it look even more sloped and less rigid and, and nice and smooth, basically. So there we go, that's those two sides all done. We just have these two left to go. And what we need to do for these sides is start off with a spruce trap door on these corner blocks right here with a stair above them. And then next to the stairs here, we're gonna have a long line of spruce trap doors, all folded closed. And then we need to just grab some spruce planks and we're gonna stick that on top of the stairs. So at this point, we should have this. Then we're just gonna grab some spruce stairs and place them above the trap doors. And all we need to do now is have a long line of upside down stairs at the top with some trap doors underneath, once again, making it look nice and smooth. So the finished product looks like this, which of course can be copied round over here too. All we've got left to do for the ceiling is the very top part, which we're just gonna be placing some stripped dark oak logs on. So we're just gonna place a temporary block here only so that we can place the dark oak log on top of it or next to it, I should say. And we're just gonna have a horizontal line coming all the way over. And we're gonna do the same thing over on this side too, making sure you use the right block, of course. And as for the middle section here, we're just gonna go from this log all the way over until the other log over here. And then last but not least, we just have two more logs like that. Then we can grab some spruce fences and we're gonna place one here where the logs kind of go off into the T section, another one here in the middle and another one here. Two chains underneath both of those with a lantern, which will nicely light up this whole upper level. And of course, you're not gonna have to worry about any mob spawning throughout this entire build. I have lit it, so that's not gonna be an issue. Next up, we're gonna build a couple of walls to section off the two classrooms either side with the so-called detention room in the middle. So what we're gonna do to begin with here is where the top texture of this log is, we're just gonna place in three strip dark oak logs like that. You can also be doing the same thing over there too or wait till after and copy it over. So looking into the center of the room now, we're just gonna place in two upside down dark oak stairs like that and then step into the middle here underneath them. So on the block that is directly underneath the stair, we just wanna place in two spruce doors to actually get into the room here and access the staircase. 
Then we can grab some dark oak slabs and above those stairs, we're just gonna have a line of them going all the way across. Next up, grab some spruce stairs and we're just gonna stick one of these in all of the corners here of this little gap. And then we're gonna have some spruce trap doors on the other four spaces to make this circle shape. And all we need to do now is just place in nine oak trap doors, fold them all close to turn this into a bit of a window and just kind of section it off without just having a completely blank wall. Before we start decorating the rooms, we just have to add in a couple of decorations in the form of painting. So one of them is just going to be a small one by one painting right there above the staircase here. So one block above the glass. And we're also going to have two two by one paintings here. So you just want to get one of them over here and another this side. So just make sure when you're placing them, you get your blocks properly positioned. So they're nicely enclosing this center spot and try and get the alternate version. Obviously vanilla paintings are fine too. You don't have to get my custom ones. Then what we're gonna do is just come to the center room here, which can be a detention room or whatever you want it to be. If you wanna repurpose any of the rooms for anything you'd like, maybe a staff room of sorts or a toilet, whatever you feel like doing, it's totally up to you. But this is going to be my detention room. So as you can see there, I just got a bunch of oak trap doors and put them just in front of the staircase here just to, you know, stop kids from falling down the staircase and having a whole liability thing there. It's, it's not good. You don't want that. So make sure you get your barricade in. And then what we're going to do is just place in a few table and chairs. So all we're doing with this is grabbing some oak stairs and we're going to have one in front of the window, another one here and one in the middle. Then we'll have an oak fence in front of them all and an oak pressure plate on top for our table. We do have room for a couple more, so on these blocks here, so just leave a gap and place another one, we can do the exact same thing. So three stairs, three fences, and three pressure plates, just like that. So to decorate the classrooms here on the upper level, the first thing we're going to do is place in the table and chairs. So starting next to this log here, just below that painting, we're going to place in a chair here, or a stair, whatever you want to call it, and just one block across, place another one leave a gap of two blocks and place two more same again with two more and of course just add all of the tables in front of it with the oak fences and then the pressure plates on top of them of course as you walk around they are going to kind of click and everything but it's really the best option for a small table design with the space that you're actually working with here now at the back, we're just going to make a little bit of a miniature bookshelf. To save on bookshelves, as they are quite expensive, you don't really need to place them behind the actual stairs. So just do three and then three like that and cover them up at the top with some oak trap doors. And we're going to do a similar thing over on this side too. So starting off with three bookshelves either side, but then having three barrels facing upwards on the bottom. And then we're going to add six black terracotta, which, as you may have guessed, is the chalkboard. And just to make it look a little bit neater, we'll stick some oak trap doors on top of it like that. And there we go. That is one classroom all done. I've already gone ahead and copied it over this side too, but go ahead and do that if you haven't already. So that is the upper level here all done. We just need to do the two classrooms on the bottom floor, which are a little bit smaller. So it's only going to be able to fit in four table and chairs. Some very small classes going on here. <laughs> They're usually a lot bigger, but we only have so much space. So for the table and chairs, we're just going to place the first two stairs underneath the window, leave two blocks, so on and so forth. You can probably get the idea from here. They're all spaced out exactly the same. So there we are, four table and chairs. And for the chalkboard, right at the front here, all we're going to do, one block away from the window, on both of them is placing a spruce fence. And then we're just going to have a two, by three size chalkboard here when you step on these by the way uh, sometimes it opens the trap doors it's annoying just try and avoid it <laughs> so on the left and the right hand side we're just going to cover that up with some spruce trap doors and we're also going to do the same around the back here just to make it all nice and neat and there we go one very small classroom with four table and chairs a chalkboard obviously we got the central room here but we can do the same over on the other side too as i've already done so there we go everybody, that is how you build a medieval school in Minecraft. I really hope you enjoyed this video, thank you ever so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.